I know you've had those moments when you lose your motivation, you're down in the dumps, you're stuck, and you're wondering how are you gonna get to your goals? Today's topic, motivation and how to see the future and how to get there. Why am I sitting here on this saddle? For those of you, I'm gonna tell you a little story about my past, 18 years old, my vision of the future, I was gonna make it to the actual Olympic games. In order to do that, you get to make it to the Junior Olympics first. So I had everything in place. I had the right horse, I had the right trainer. I even had an arena that I would ride in that had a rubber. So I had everything. Until one day, this horse said, enough with you, Amanda, I want you off. When I came off, I landed so hard, I compressed the tibia, the fibia, and broke all the, all the bones here. So after surgery after surgery, nine entire months of sitting on that couch, watching out the window, watching everyone else, all my friends, my horse trainer, riding these horses, while I was stuck inside, watching TV, feeling depressed about my life and myself, and feeling like I wanted to give up on my goals. So how did I go from that state to making it to the Junior Olympics and winning the bronze medal? After the doctors had said, good luck trying to run again, you only have 60% range of mobility in your ankle, and you'll probably never be the same. So today I'm gonna to teach you the five things to help yourself stay motivated even when you feel down in the dumps. One of the things I practice every day is visualization and meditation coupled with affirmations. So every morning I want you to demand 10 minutes of your day where you sit down in a quiet, relaxed environment and you breathe, get into your mind. What is it that you want to achieve? And visualize it because what you can see you can achieve your mind will find a way to get you there and it opens up to this universe which is powerful I'll give you an example a few years back I always wanted a house on the water on the ocean it's been a vision of mine so what I did is I thought all right I want to feel what it feels like to have that I visualized it I felt it in my body then I went out there on Zillow and I googled a house and I saw it and I really loved it. Made an appointment with a real estate agent. Go out there. And I could smell the ocean. It was just phenomenal. It gave me that feeling. It's like, wow. Now I have the key to that door. And now that's the retreat center. But it started with a vision. And it's in that meditative state where you can start to really visualize when you don't have all these things coming at you all the time. The children, the sports games, the husbands, the spouses. So it's your time every day. Affirmations are key. I am is a strong statement. I am the CEO of my own business. I am strong. I am beautiful. I am smart. I am the leader that people are looking for you become it before you actually are. Because what's gonna happen is when you start to believe, that gives you confidence. People will feel that. Now you're out there during your day, you're prospecting, and you become the success. You become the abundance. And all of a sudden, people say, wow, you're amazing. You're such a great leader. Because I told myself, I am a great leader. So it's those powerful statements and that visualization of your future do you want to connect and you will find a way to get there another tip i have for you to stay motivated if somebody cannot see when you're it, driving in your here, car then it will never what are you be listening here. to i'm always so plugging in to, to people that i resonate with so we have jim Rohn right now i love jim Rohn. Les when Brown, motivational speaker, hotel? someone who gets you excited, puts that fire within this your belt, and makes you see that vision that you're connected to. Music. So think about that. When Whenever you've got that downtime and you're thinking about going back to your old habits and doing the same things, being around the same people, here's the answer. put some as motivational information on and really grasp that information and it'll get you pumped you up. It gets you excited. Now. Connie, I just really appreciate your business. You're going to love the product. As soon as you get that box, you give me a jingle and I'll be right over there to help you set it up, okay? All right, my friend, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Yay! The next step for you in your motivation is to celebrate your success. Because here's the thing, if you're fearful of something and you achieve something, now you put a positivity in your mind and you go celebrate it. Then your mind starts to see, oh wow, every time I do something fearful, there's a positive aspect 
and then you want to do more of it and you start getting that dopamine high that makes you feel good instead of being fearful of calling your prospects or going down your list or cold calling you're gonna be excited for it because you get to celebrate it go get your nails done go get a massage go take your spouse out for dinner and enjoy yourself because you deserve it finishers never quit and quitters never finish I know you've heard of that before. So here's the thing. We have this beautifully designed roadmap to success. We have the vision to how we want our life to be. We're here at Red Robin and we all make choices. If we have that vision of having this nice healthy body, traveling the world and feeling good in our skin, and we come to a place like Red Robin and we see this popping out to us, this mad lover burger, or this Southwestern charm burger, and then we decide to give into our cravings. Well, how are we ever gonna get to where we wanna go if we keep giving into these cravings? We're not, we're just gonna be the same place you are right now. So instead, knowing that we want to have a better body and be healthy, we're gonna be here and we're gonna decide to have our sides of broccoli that's bottomless instead of those french fries. We're gonna decide to have a salmon salad with a dressing on the side instead of that burger because that is gonna propel us to where we wanna go, whereas these other things are gonna hold us back and keep us the same. So that is my tip for you, is don't be a quitter. Finish what you start and get to where you wanna go so you know how it feels when you're, when you're there. Otherwise, you're never gonna get there and you'll just be living in the same place you are right now. So those are my tips for you on how to stay motivated in your network marketing business or business in general. And until I see you, I want you to go out there and have an abundant life. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the bell so I can keep giving you free content. Run over to my website, amandababa.com, and that way you can see all the digital programs we have for you. Check out all the social media aspects that we have. Until I see you, be happy, be healthy, and be free.